Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automated curtain control. So let's look at the example first. Automated curtain control. When the open button is pressed, the curtains should open and remain open for 30 seconds before closing automatically. If open button is pressed again, the curtains will remain open for 30 seconds more. So in this example, we will use normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will also use some memory bits which will store the data, the statuses of the inputs. We will also use timers like TP and TR. We will also implement some logic gates like AND, OR. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for automated curtain control. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And Downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password and also downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply so after that i will go to configuration tab so here we have to select the logic controller we have to configure the device in this tab so here is a list of different logic controllers i will be using tm221 c24r i will click on it and then drag it to here do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R. You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, one serial line port and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASC II TMH2GDB or Modbus serial IO scanner. I will keep it TMS 2 JDB for now and then I will click on apply. So if I keep protocol as TMS 2 JDB then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that I will click on programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram 
I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode. I can also click on this option to unset full screen mode. So for now, I will set the full screen mode. And then I can also zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out like this. So firstly, I will insert a quality open. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. And then I will insert a file. Find address to it as M0, which is a memory bit. And then I will add it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact and I will connect it in parallel with the start button. So I will connect it like this. assign address to this normally open as M0. So when start button is turned on, M0 will be true and then when start button is turned off, then M0 still remains true. And then I will add a new rank and then I will insert normally open contact. I will assign address to it as M0. Zero, and then I will insert a normally closed contact, and I will assign address to it as I zero point zero, which is a start button, and then I will insert a coil, and I will assign address to it as M one, which is again a memory bit. So this memory bit M one will become true if M0 is true and the start button is off then only M1 will be true. Then we will latch it to here so I will insert one more for my open contact here and then I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M one. So this memory bit will be true when start button is once pressed and then released so that M1 will be true. So it will remain true. If the states of these normally open contact or normally closed contact change but M1 will still remain true. And then I will add a new rank here for second press or second time when we turn on this button. So I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M1. And then I will insert one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I0.0. So this memory bit is storing the data that the start button is already being pressed. And now when it is second time pressed, then this coil will become true. And I will assign address to it as M2. And then I will latch it here. So I will click on this option. And connect it like this. So I will assign address to it as M2. And then I will add a new rung here and I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M. one and I will insert a coil 
and we'll assign address to it as M3. So for M3, I will use a timer. That should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 30 and then apply. So this M3 will become true and will remain true for 30 seconds only. And we will use this memory bit to control the curtains. And then I will add a new rung here and I will insert one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M2. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M4 which is a memory bit which will be used to again control the curtain to keep the curtain open for another 30 seconds. So for this I will use two timers. The first one will be T on on delay timer. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 30. And then click on apply. Or we can simply delete this and insert a timer TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 30 and then click on apply. So, for M4 to be on, M3 should be closed. So, after M3, M4 should turn on. So, I will insert a normally closed contact here and I will assign address to it as M3. So, when the first time and start button is turned on, then M0 will be true. And then when it is turned off, M0 as well as M1 becomes true. And then this M1 stores the data that this button is already being pressed for the first time. And this M0 will be true. And then we will use this memory bit M1 that stores the data that the button is already being pressed once. So then, when this button is again pressed for the second time, this M2 becomes true. So this memory bit M1 which stores the data that the start button is pressed once. Then, when it becomes true, that which will uh, make this M3 true for 30 seconds. And we will use this M3 to open the curtains for 30 seconds. And then, when, the, when this button is pressed second time, this M1 stores the data that the button is already being pressed once and then the second time. So, this data is being stored by this M2. So, M2 stores the data that the button is being pressed two times. So, it becomes true. So, when it becomes true and then when M3 becomes false, that is when curtains become, uh, when curtains are being opened for 30 seconds, after that, if the button is pressed second time, and the curtains are being opened for 30 seconds and then after M4 becomes true for 30 seconds more. So we will use these two memory bits M3 and M4 to control the curtain. So I will add a new rung and insert two normally open contacts in parlor. So here we are implementing 
OR gate. I will connect it like this. So, I will assign address to this normally open contact as M3 and then M4. And then I will assign address to it as Q0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as curtain, which will be obviously controlled by some end actuator it may be motor or anything else so i will exit full screen mode i will go to commissioning sorry i will compile the program first and then i will launch simulator And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So I'll go to programming and click on full screen. So when I turn on the button, start button first time and then release, that M0 becomes 2 and also M1 becomes 2. So M1 keeps the M3 on for 30 seconds. And as a result, the curtains will remain open for 30 seconds. And after that, it will be closed automatically. So after 30 seconds, the curtains are closed. And then when I press it again and then release, the curtains will remain open for another 30 seconds. And after more 30 seconds, the curtains will close automatically. And now, if I press this button two times, one, two, what happens is the curtains will remain open for 30 seconds plus 30 seconds. So the curtains will remain open for 60 seconds and the curtains will not close after 30 seconds the curtains will close after 60 seconds And after that, the curtains will close. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.